Hey guys, welcome back to the bench. Here we are working on the cottage, mountain cottage. Um, I did get a little more done than what I thought I was going to get done off camera. Um, so we might be able to finish this up in this video. Um, essentially all we have left to do is to do the carport and a few pieces on the porch. Um, and then, um, uh, assembling the carport and then running the rest of the roofing on the house, essentially. So, um, I think we can finish it up in this video, so just bear with me. This might be possibly a 45 minute video today. We'll see how far and how fast we can get it done. Um, so, um, let's get to it. So where we left off is, um, I didn't even have the porch on. So here's what the porch looks like. I have the first post in here. I got to assemble the other ones here. And, and well, install them. And then I went ahead and did the tar paper roofing, which will go right there on the house. Um, so, um, let's start with the construction portion of this. Um, let me separate out my pieces I had here. smaller one that's one like that here's one of the other long ones and one of them and then this one will go there. Okay. So, these two I cut the, I cut these just, oh, okay, <sighs> I didn't, I didn't do that wrong, I just had to turn the wrong direction, so this is the top right here, so that has to remain open, so what we're going to do here is, I allowed for an over, a slight overhang, on so what I did is I allowed a small overhang on the bottom side and so we are going to just get our side posts in so that we can get those set Mm 
down into place where I want it. In. Just double check the end piece here. We will probably have to trim these. Yep, those will all have to be trimmed. But that's okay. Um, we're going to get the side um, long ones in first. And then we'll trim... And glue the other ones in. There's only five pieces for the support. So. And they're already painted and ready to go. So all we have to do is just. Just get them in and we're good to go. I just have to set the the position of these so that I can have my little slight overhang on the three outer sides that I'm looking for. And Okay, that's good, just press that down. Now that I have that done, this is the, this is the top. So I don't, I'm not putting anything here because I want this to sit flush. So. That's why I left that little bit of overhang so that I didn't have to worry about um, too much like that. But I will be doing a little bit of a trimming once I get it all done. So, this goes like this. And then Okay, so I'm gonna go there. So we'll kinda I'm going to zoom in on this so you guys can see more of what I'm doing. Um, so all I did was is I got the side rails where I wanted them. And I'm just trimming the three. There's going to be um, three supports. There's going to be one on this end, one in between at the other end, and one in the middle. And to do that, I just put one end on this long side here came over and I'm cutting it on the inside and now that will somehow uh, 
That's what I thought I did. There. Just... Like so. So, check and see if I can make it the same all the way down. Two. And there's number three. All I gotta do is take these other two and trim them down to this one I just did. And then all three will fit and be glued. There we go. Now all I have to do is just glue them in. Number one. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Number two. And as you see, I got the square frame done. Now all I have to do is the center piece. And then we got the structure support done. Yay, 
And there we go. Just cleaning up a little bit of the excess glue underneath. So we have, let's get the right way. Okay, so here I framed it all the way in. So now we have a structure support. So now it's supported and we have, I have it coming off like that. Now I just got to figure out the height. See these, I, I got just right, apparently. Which is awesome. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to, to just go ahead and get those glued in. Which is just right on the corner. And there's one. And then what I'll do is I'll just dab in the glue. Come down here and put this other one in the other corner. This one, and I'm not that good at trying. Okay, there we go. Give it a little bit of pressure and let it set up. My apologies, everybody. Maybe that finally where I will be good enough. I now have to get the third one in, in the middle. Uh, 
Okay, we are going to slide this up over here. Let those set. Let them dry. Give that a minute to, to set up. And we're going to go over here and tackle the rest of the porch. Um, and then... We'll be good. Okay. So we're so this is where the house looks like again. We have a post that goes right there. One on and one on the end. Um Yeah, I'm looking at this, trying to do this where it doesn't over overkill it. So, essentially, what it will look like is We'll have post there. And I need to trim this one just a smidge. It's like pushing. It's almost like it's pushing the roof up a little bit. And I don't like that. Okay. So let's dab a little bit of, get some glue on here. And I use my tweezers, my tweezers, because what I do is I dab each end in glue, just like that, and then I just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in and I'll show you what, how, how it worked. I'll just go in underneath of it, and just, with, Come on. I barely lift up on the roof a little bit. And I placed it in place. And being this is a mountain cottage, nothing in, in my opinion is perfect on a mountain cottage. So you can make it look perfect if you want. 
but in my opinion, nothing's perfect on a cottage. But I do try my best. But there you have it. You have both ends done, and I'm going to put another one. There'll be another one that goes... Um, I think I'm going to just do three and I'm going to put it right next to the window right here because trying to divide four on it just I could put one right in the middle of the window and one right here but then it just takes too much away so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a third one in right here and we'll just let it, let it be. There. You got your port, your one rail here, you got one right next to the window, and you got one right here. Um, and the roof, doing that, it actually gave a roof kind of, it looks pretty straight on camera, but there, it, but it has a slight little you know, a little lip lift, like it's partly settled. So it's kind of kind of cool. Because it kind of goes a little higher here and kind of comes down here. And that's okay. I'm not aiming for a brand new build. Um, I wanted to give some character to it. Like it has a little, little bit of a, a little bit of things to it. If you build everything straightforward, you know, wouldn't look good in my opinion. Okay, oh, that's why. reason why is because I didn't trim it. So now that I got it trimmed. Put 
perfect. Okay. Okay. There. <laughs> there. I trimmed it and re glued it. And so now it's the way it should. Okay. So now with that done, and I've decided to only do three, just because trying to fit a fourth in there, uh, it just didn't look right. Um,. We are now going to um, check on the awning. So see we'll see how it sits on here. Oh, that's that's gonna work out great. Just. Awesome. Awesome. Um, pardon the movement. I'm going to bring you down on a different angle here. You guys can actually see this from a different angle. See how that awning sits on there? It rests right, right up where I wanted it to. Um, it's sitting right matched up to the roof at the right angle that it would would be. Um, and look at the front of the house. Look how that came in pretty darn good. Like that, and it looks phenomenal. It, wow. Um, so let's get everything. Put you back up here on the thing there. Perfect. Uh, we are at thirty-three minutes, so we are gonna call it for this video, and um. We got everything done that I, I wanted to do in this video. Um, and in the next video, we will attach the awning, make the adjustment, and I will, um, we will apply the rest of the roofing. And um, we will attach the uh i will attach the wood pile to the bracing on this side um so with that that's the next step in the video um these will be up later today um today so keep an eye on the next um Later, uh, later today, both of these sh videos should be posted and project be completed. I'm just trying to keep them short so that you guys can enjoy them as I said I would. All right. With that, we will see you back here in the next video. We'll finish up this build and it will be done. Um, so it's just attaching the carport, running the roof. And gluing on that and then doing a review of this of this build and we will be done how about that so um stay tuned later today uh these videos will be posted and up 
um, and we will be done with this build. Um, and I will give you updates as far as when my next project will be. Um, I will be doing things between now and the next couple of weeks, but they're not structural related that I know of. So, um, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day hobbying everybody and enjoy your weekend.